Hello friends, this video on comparing quantities part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Topics to be covered in this lesson are introduction, comparing quantities, ratio, percentage, finding discounts, profit loss percentages, sales tax, simple interest versus compound interest, calculating compound interest, sales tax. So what comes to your mind when you think of comparing quantities? What kind of quantities are we talking about? Let us take a very simple example. On the screen, you see two girls. So let's say that uh, they are two sisters. Now, if I ask you who is taller? So what is that quantity which decides who is taller? So obviously their height. Now, let's say that the elder sister is 138 centimeters tall and the younger sister is 125 centimeters tall. Now, when you compare these two quantities, that is when you compare these two numbers, which are basically height of these two girls, what do you see? You find that 138 is greater than 125, which clearly tells us that the elder sister is taller than the younger sister. So here we have done a comparison of the heights of these two girls. Now let's take one more example. So let's say that there are two kids A and B. Now let's say this is A and this is B. So A scored 70 out of 100 in his examination and B scored 80 out of 200 in his examination. Now looking at the scores, you might think that B scored more because B scored 80 and A scored 70, right? But we just can't compare their scores. We also need to uh, take into consideration the total marks because if you look at A, he scored 70, which is less than 80, but he scored it out of 100, whereas B scored 80 out of 200. So therefore, we just can't compare the numerators and arrive at a result because the denominators in this case are different. So how do we compare that who scored more? So for that what we can do is we can look at their percentages. So when you look at A, we see that A scored 70%. 70% means if we assume that the total marks is 70, so B, A scored 70 out of 100. Well, in this case, the total marks is anyways 100. Now, in the second case, if you find out the percentage, it will come out to be 40%. That means had the score been 100, in that case, this B would have scored some 40. So that is how we calculate the percentages. Now, if you know the percentage scored by A and B, we can you can very easily compare who scored more. So what can you say? Who scored more? Obviously, A scored more. So in this lesson, we are going to learn more about percentages. Now, percentage has a lot of application. For example, when it comes to uh, your bank loans, when it comes to your fixed deposits in bank. So everywhere you see the interest rate is in percentage. So percentage has many different applications in our day-to-day -day life. For example, when there is a 50% discount going on in the nearest mall, what do you do? You hurry up and go for shopping, isn't it? So percentage is used in a lot of places. So in this lesson, we will look at percentages from the perspective of uh, interests, uh, discounts, sales tax, VAT and all of that. Now let us look at one more example which talks about comparison. So here we see two different shopkeepers, shopkeeper one and shopkeeper two. Now if I ask you who is making more profit, how would you know who is making more profit? Now let us say these two shopkeepers, they are selling different goods. Maybe shopkeeper one is selling clothes, shopkeeper two is selling stationeries or shopkeeper one is selling grocery. So they are selling different items at different rates and making some profit. But both of them are making profit. So if we have to compare who is making more profit. So again, we need some common parameter to decide who is making more profit. So one way of deciding is percentage. So if you say that, okay, shopkeeper one is making 12% profit and shopkeeper two is making 11% profit. So it becomes very simple. That means that if 
the total is 100 then out of 100 shopkeeper 1 is making 12 profit and out of 100 shopkeeper 2 is making 11 profit so obviously shopkeeper 1 is making more profit so when we talk about percentage we talk about a common ground or a common platform which makes it easier for us to compare two different quantities now instead of using percentage if we would have told that okay shopkeeper 1 is making a profit of uh, some rupees Again, we would not know that how, that rupees are out of how much rupees, like that rupees compared to how much money which he had invested. So that comparison would have not been there. So therefore, percentage helps in those kind of comparisons between two different quantities. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.